Hey guys, I'm Sanjeev and welcome to lecture number 2 in machine learning section. The lecture is about locally weighted regression. Application of these I don't have to tell you. It was applied in autonomous helicopter at Stanford University using a Pegasus reinforcement learning algorithm. So, locally weighted regression. It belongs to a class of non-parametric algorithms. For example, parametric and non-parametric algorithms, I will tell you in the upcoming lectures. So, domain of this lecture. This lecture covers the fundamentals of locally weighted regression with an exponential weighting function. In upcoming videos, a project example on locally weighted regression will be presented, in which I will show the application of LWR. In this lecture, an exponential weighting function is used. Okay, more on how to choose your weighting function according to your problem, I'll discuss an optimization channel. So for prerequisites, refer to lecture 1. So need of weighting. So the question is why do we need locally weighted regression? Let us consider a case. Suppose this is your data and you need to fit a curve to this data. And here is a more complex example. You need to fit your curve to both these data sets. The result of your linear fitting. This is the result of your linear fitting to the data set 1 and this is the result of linear fitting to data set 2. As you can see, these curves are not the best approximator of your data set. So what you can do is, you can locally weight your data set. So consider this is a weighting function lambda, which is exponential of minus of norm of xi minus x divided by 2t, where t is a bandwidth parameter. So weighting function looks like a Gaussian, okay, but it has no relation with the Gaussian distribution. This xi is a point where you need to evaluate your hypothesis. So your xi minus x is the distance of your instance from the point xi where you need to evaluate your hypothesis. So this is the shape of your weighting function. As you increase well, this for lambda, this for t equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 1. As you increase the t, your width increases and as this width increases, you consider more of your instances for, for evaluating your hypothesis. Okay, so t is a bandwidth parameter. It controls the width of the weighting function. The more the width is, the more distributed the weight weighting function is. That is, more of the points are considered for evaluating your hypothesis. Okay, so this is a result of evaluating a hypothesis at point x equal to 22 choosing the bandwidth parameter 0.2. So these are your so these are your parameters w0 equal to 2.1459 and w1 is 0 0.057 0 0.0576. Okay, where w0 and w1 are explained in lecture 1. This is a result for evaluating a hypothesis at point x equal to 15.6 choosing a bandwidth parameter 0.2 and your w uh, w0 is 1.59 and 4 and w1 is 0 0.0358 so as you can see this bandwidth parameter is very small so it is considering only only these few points for evaluating the hypothesis at point 15.6 okay here yeah, 15.6 lies somewhere here okay this is the same data set as this uh, these all are same data set okay as this one only the scale is changed okay here the scale is 1.25 to 0 0.8 0 0.8 to 1.25 and here the scale is minus 1 to 2.5 so it is looking like it is compressed okay by the same data set okay these all are same data sets and this is a result of evaluating a hypothesis at 0.7.6 choosing our bandwidth parameter 0.2 and w0 is 8648, 0.8648 and w1 is 0 0.0203 so as you can see again here only few only these few points are considered for evaluating a hypothesis at 0.7.6 and finally this is a result of evaluating a hypothesis at 0.47.6 which lies somewhere here 
and your waiting function is like so, somewhat like this okay so you can easily see only these few points are considered for evaluating a hypothesis so you are getting a perfect straight line a perfect horizontal line and there is a result of non weighted regression as you can see there is not a good approximate of your data so the benefit of using locally weighted regression is you can evaluate your hypothesis at the point you wish suppose you need to fit a curve only for these data points then you can cho uh, then you can choose xi from these points and then you can evaluate your hypothesis then a new date a new exam instance comes in and you can evaluate its value so there is a use of locally weighted regression so what are the drawbacks of locally weighted regression the first one is you need to evaluate the whole hypothesis using a whole data set every time like here i evaluated my hypothesis for point 14.47.6 point using whole data set and this weighting function here i evaluated my hypothesis for point 7.6 here I evaluated for 15.6 and every time I evaluate my hypothesis I need to use a whole data set it means to use this algorithm you need to store whole of the data set in your computer memory so it consumes a lot of memory as your data set increases your memory requirement also increases so these are few drawbacks of this algorithm obviously it is slow because every time you need to evaluate your hypothesis if you need to use this algorithm so what are the applications the application are huge for the for locally weighted regression okay few of them i will show in the upcoming videos and one of the most famous example was autonomous helicopter of stanford university uh, in which the pegasus reinforce and learning algorithm was was also used for learning the model locally weighted regression was used okay so these two algorithms were combined pegasus and locally weighted regression So thank you guys for watching this video. The next lecture will be in logistic regression.